Imagine when you cook, when you saute something, saute some shrimp or something like that, all the essence of what you cook is going to fly in the air. We're actually capturing it right here. And we pop it in the oven, right? And we did find out it works much better in a convection oven, convection with, the air, oven. with the air circulating And it's going to blow it. and then it's going to reduce. So while that's being done, we uh, could, there is uh, uh, smoke the choclo for the pork Well, actually, dish. Yeah. I have to do the pasta and I have to do the spheres. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm sorry. I'm making a mess here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it worked. I told you it was going to work. <laughs> so spaghetti with sea urchin. I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and drop the pasta. Uh, before I drop the pasta, I'm going to talk about certification. It's a new process that was uh, created by Ferran Adria in Spain, in El Bulli. And basically what it is, is to turn something into a sphere. So we want to do some caviar from uh, some rocotto pepper. What we do is we take the rocotto pepper juice. Pepper juice is uh, 250 milliliters of uh, pepper juice. We put three quarters of it in a container. Then, maybe I should drop the pasta also, you know? There you go, we don't have to wait. Nice Italian. Uh, bronze extruded, no Teflon, you can see it's very rough. The sauce will actually attach to this better. This one is a spaghetti alla chitarra. And, uh, you know, we should be able to do a normal order there. There you go. The pasta. Which takes about 12 minutes to cook. Okay. Antonio. Okay, well that's, let's do a trick here. I didn't see that. <laughs> All right, so we take the pepper and then we have this product here, it's called alginate. It's a natural algae product that when it reacts to calcic, which is another natural product, it creates a gel, jellifies. So what we do is we have two baths. We have one with calcic, it's uh, 2.5 grams to half a liter of water ratio. If you don't use a gram scale, you're done. You, you have to be really precise. I'm still not getting it done, but I'm going to show you what I've got done, okay? So you put some of the uh, 2.5 grams in the uh, mixture, right? And then we use the bar mix again. And I need to rinse this because then the trick is not going to work because it's going to react. I got it. Yeah, just rinse it up for me. Sure. There are. Uh, the lime might kill the alginate because of the pH. Also, when you spherify, everything has to be mostly under four in the pH so you can achieve a perfect texture. So it's like headache. I'm an empiric cook, you know, I go things like uh, one after another, but it's very tough to, um, to do it. So you have citras, which is another natural element that you can put okay. to uh, that. lower that pH on what you want to spherify or want to make a, a caviar off. So uh, we take uh, our blender here, right? And you know, the alginate starts mixing with the juice. You can do apple, you can do whatever natural juice you want and you can turn it into a caviar. But you have to let it sit for at least half an hour. So we're going to kind of flush it, you know, and see if we can uh, Make it. It's already a little thick. You see how the alginate thickened it up a little bit? So now we adjust it with more of the juice that we have there. We mix it a little bit more. Okay. And then we, there's a lot of air in there, a lot of air bubbles. We don't want that. So I'm going to let it sit in the corner there and in a minute, I'll do a little experiment and see if the alginate, you know, all the air is in the top. In the meantime, Laura, you want to? Sure. Let's uh, get that uh, choclo smoking. And um, what we usually do at the restaurant is we have the giant Peruvian corn choclo. And it is not like American corn. It's very starchy. It's not sweet. Uh, so it's a, a nice little element to our dish. But we wanted to have some oh. type of smoky flavor to go with the pork. So we usually uh, boil it to get it nice and tender. And then we kind of flame it on the grill, uh, kind of like popped corn, and it gives it some, some flavor. But we've just started to do the, uh, the smoking. The smoking gun. 
So we put have, the wood chips right here. Yeah, we have these little uh, apple wood chips. It's almost uh, at a powder. It's good. Yeah, here you want to just. And that's it. This is a fast, cold smoke. Um, basically, it's a battery powder, battery powered, and. Uh, it's a lot of smoke. It's a lot of smoke, and you really don't need that much at all. Once this fills up, we're going to take it out, seal it, and that's it. Let it sit for a couple minutes. It's going to give uh, my dish a little bit of a uh, smoky flavor. So what I have now is I'm plating up my filet mignon dish. Uh, I have it over a sweet potato puree, sautéed escarole, uh, filet nice and medium rare. I'm drizzling over it a little bit of uh, the sauce. It's vincotto and algarabina. Algarabina, Jose... The is, is the carob Peru. syrup from the north of Peru, the caruba, and the Sicilians also have it. It's a, it's a long piece of a seed of a tree that makes this uh, syrup. Uh, it's called um, caruba in Italian or algarrobina. So yep. that has one dish yep. in there. And then the pork I can plate up also. Uh, what I have here is caramelized onions. I'm going to put the smoked choclo and also wilt in a little fresh baby spinach. And I seared uh, before a yuca cake. We use the Peruvian... Uh, it's a vegetable. Uh, they often fry it and eat yuca like french fries, yuca frita. But what we do is we bo peel it, boil it, and uh, smash it a little bit so there's still large tender pieces. And we mix in a little extra virgin olive oil, fried garlic, just a touch of heavy cream, and we form a cake and pan sear it. And that's the starch on the dish. And the pork, uh, nice and medium, uh, with the pure sugar cane sauce, and this... Uh, right here, melted down with a little uh, brown chicken stock, some of this ricotto pepper, salt, pepper, and butter. And that's it, I'll plate that up. And you have the recipe there, by the way. Oh yes, that's, that, the, that's the featured recipe. recipe. And that was one of the most uh, popular dishes on Phantom Gourmet for a little while. And uh, Richie, Uncle Richie, purveyor <laughs> of the year. McClack right there. Is the pork chop good or what? There you go. Huh? Good job. Anyway, we... Um, we have the plates going on there, but in the meantime, I want to make a test right here. If I can get a close-up so you can see what's going to happen here. Um, I'm going to use oh no, a syringe in here to test if uh, the, the mix actually will spherify, will make a little sphere. So the alginate is almost there, and I have my calcic here on the left. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, the alginate, which is a little thick, but that's fine. And then... You see, it's a big drop, but there you go, look. All right, so we have little spheres right there. You, can, you have to let it in, leave it in there for about 30 seconds because they keep reacting. You take them out, then you rinse them, and then you have 